What's up guys, it's Sturdy Dan. So today, I'm gonna be talking about the three new mobs that could be coming to Minecraft based off of your votes in the Minecraft 2021 mob vote that's happening on October 16th. Now, for this video, I'm gonna be explaining each mob and how they work and by the end of the video, state which mob is the most useful mob to vote for in the Minecraft 2021 mob vote. The first mob I'm going to be talking about is the Glare, which basically is a floating bush who grunts in an area that's really dark where mobs can spawn. Now, honestly, with this mob, I don't think we need an occasional grunt from a mob to tell us when mobs can spawn in the dark. I think any average player can tell when it's too dark and it's very obvious that mobs can spawn there. I'd say for cons, there really is none, unless of course you want to tie a lead to a glare and float all the way up into the upper atmosphere. And there's really nothing wrong with this mob, only that its main use is somewhat limited. The second mob I'll be talking about is the Copper Golem, which is a short fellow who, like the Iron Golem, will beat the crap out of any mobs nearby, but also has a strange addiction to pressing buttons. And they will press any button, and I mean any button, even if it means your imminent demise. But don't get me wrong. These little guys could be put in controlled environments for, let's say, water farms or other useful contraptions, which can be useful both in multiplayer and single player worlds. Copper Golems also have a cool feature where they oxidize and turn different colors, but if you want your Golem to be back to what it was, you could use an axe to scrape off the stuff or use a lightning rod to have them get struck by lightning and become instantly back to their copper state. I'd have to say, the only cons with this mob is the possibility of it hitting a button that could lead to your death. They are kind of like babies in a sense, where you have to endlessly keep a watchful eye on them and that can get a little annoying considering you may have other things to do in your Minecraft world. Now, the last mob I'll be talking about is the Alley, which is basically this cute flying drug dealer who will bring you whatever it is you give to them and gives you more of that item. Now, note that this isn't like a duplication glitch thing in Minecraft. It only collects items that are dropped on the ground. So, let's say you need dirt for some reason and there's a creeper hole outside your house, but you were too lazy to get it. You can just get the lay to get it for you by giving him that same item, and he will go pick up every item there is of what you gave them. Also, its meeting spot is note blocks, and will only come when there's slow jazz playing. I, I was just kidding about that last part. You just have to hit the block once and the lay will come back to that block. As for cons for the flying boy, the only thing that's annoying is that you'll need to make a note block, which isn't the worst thing in the world, honestly. Now, for the end of this video, I'm gonna say which mob I think is the most reasonable and will be the most helpful in Minecraft. And honestly, it was a close tie between two of them, but after rationalizing it out, I've come to the decision between the glare the Copper Golem and the LA, I have to go with the LA. And here's why. With the Glare, his main purpose is to grunt in the dark where mobs can spawn, which isn't very useful in my opinion, but if it does get released to the game, apparently there's gonna be something with bone meal in the next update that will make the Glare probably a lot more useful than he is now. With the Copper Golem, his main purpose that makes him stand out is that he can fight like the Iron Golem and he has a button addiction. Now, the only thing with the Golem that would make him useful is farms that require a button to be pushed or pushing a button to let you back in your house, but honestly, with buttons, you could just push them yourself. Why do you need a little small Golem to do it for you? Also, the Copper Golem kind of reminds me of the creepy things from Animal Crossing for some reason. 
Lastly, with the Alley, and why I believe it is the best pick, is because of this scenario. Let's say you need wood, right? And your friend is already out getting wood for you, but has lost his way back. And you guys don't have the use of coordinates, so what do you do? Use the Alley to find your friend by telling him to drop his wood, then give the Alley a piece of wood, and then what you can do is follow your Alley back to your friend, and also have your resources returned back to base, because maybe you ran out of space in your inventory and you can't carry anymore. So if you like to farm a lot on resources but run out of room, you can just have the Alley hold it for you and then pick it back up from him later. If anything, he's like a moving flying chest that dispenses your belongings when needed. But that is it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like the video, and if you're new, make sure to subscribe. It's free, and you can always change your mind later. As well as comment down below your thoughts, as well as what mob you're going to vote for in the upcoming Minecraft mob vote. But anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.